crispy. Alright, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of Figures in Action. And today I present to you a rooftop style building. I literally just recorded what felt like 10 minutes of me just going on and on about this dial. And I looked down and I never pressed the record button. Ha! <laughs> ah, that's a first. Alright, so. Uh, but that's cool because I went through a kind of a dry run. So here we go. I'm, I'm a little more prepared this time around as I know the order I want to go in terms of showing this uh, to you guys. I was contacted by... Uh, a homie, Jorge, who has gotten several dials from me. The la one of the last dials he got from me was a sci-fi one, the only sci-fi that I think I've created. And uh, he got a uh, probably one of my my more com more my my bigger uh, dojos that I've created uh, was something he commissioned as well. So he hit me up. He was like, "Yo, I have an idea for a building. You know, I want it to be something where there's windows that are." You know that can open and close uh so that kind of became the central part of it so you want a window that can open and close so you can have characters uh jumping out of the window or spider-man type you know type of scenes the cool thing a, a couple cool things you know in photography action figure photography a lot of times you can kind of do camera tricks so this is kind of set up in a way where if he lays it down he can put Spidey on there and take a picture so it looks like the dial standing up and Spidey's, excuse me, Spidey's just sticking onto the wall. Uh, so luckily it kind of has that, that flat build, uh, the gr uh, you know, kind of the ground piece there. Uh, excuse me, all the way up to the top. All right, so let's go through this real quick. So I already knew that a Boundless Brooklyn water tower, which is usually uh, the water towers that I, that I purchased, uh, wasn't gonna fit here. It was gonna be too wide. Um, so I and I also wanted to kind of try my hand at creating a, a water tower, kind of a New York style water tower. So uh, I made one. So the good thing about this one, first of all, this right here is a coffee container. Um, and so I just carved some lines on there and kind of did you know did what I had to do to make it look like it's a, it's a water tower and and. This piece, so that piece comes off, and you see where it kind of sits right in there. And then you can take this base off by just sliding these off. And then it has four legs, but they're they're connected, so it's two pieces that come out. So it kind of breaks down into three pieces, uh, which is great. So was able to create that. That was the last piece. That took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take me. Um, got the working windows. This is something I had to order directly from China. And uh, they're just dollhouse windows, prefab. Uh, so I got those. This little piece came with these windows so you can put above. But I, I didn't want to put anything above the windows. So I kind of just put them together and made it kind of a little centerpiece, a little fancy centerpiece. Door was made from scratch, two pieces of skinny foam. Um, and it's a door that you can take off. I'm actually going to reinforce the top here so that's a little more, it's not as loose as it is now. So before I send it, um, I'll do that. But this with this door, you know, you got the window. Um, so you'll be able to get the, you know, kind of that light. And I put some, uh, I don't know, what kind of paper was this? That's, you know what, that's actually the same, uh, same material that I used for that window there, which is kind of this rolled up plasticky, kind of foggy type of thing. So I, I use that. And then what I did is for the, I, so created this, uh, he's like, cool, put graffiti on it. So I put some graffiti there. Put a little vent down there. You can light that vent from the inside. I did some graffiti here on the side as well. Uh, put a little electricity pipe made out of foam board. There's this do-it-yourself straw. Made that. The signage, which is on the aluminum paper. Uh, and so he, he wanted a working door. And halfway uh, through making the dial, he says, Yo, is there any way you can do like an interior like you did? um for the dojo unfortunately that would have cost him more i didn't want to charge him more you know he's uh you know he's gotten many dials from me and i just felt uncomfortable saying hey yeah i'm gonna charge you to do an interior so what i did is i came to my own kind of compromise and what i did is i just made kind of this hallway uh two side walls put a uh, some um cork board type uh material there so you can put flyers and so forth for the tenants or the people of this building and then i put a little hole up there so you can just put like a finger light right on top and it'll shine kind of on the floor there 
the higher you put that light, the skinnier the circle will be on the floor. So you can kind of play with that as well. So I gave him kind of a hallway instead. Uh, so that way it eliminates um, me having to paint the inside and all that. And uh, the inside is not magnetized. So neither of these pieces are magnetized to each other. Uh, but that's okay because um, the most important parts are so any you know whenever he puts it away It's just gonna they're gonna fall if you move the dial the inside walls are gonna fall, but that's okay. So uh, was able to do that and uh, Let me turn the lights back on give me a second One when somebody says give me a second. I usually count one So uh, I'm happy with how the hallway came out uh, I'm happy with how the door came on. I think it's going to be a good look once it starts taking some some pictures there. Uh, I put Deadpool there for scale. This is a six inch Marvel Legends action figure, and you can see um, how big it is when I take a step back, and you see how little Deadpool becomes. So uh, yeah, man, this is a beast, and this is probably the biggest dial I think uh, Hot has ever uh, ordered for me. Originally, <laughs> the height that we agreed to was like right here, right? The problem was that if I would have set the window there, the bottom of the win window would have been there. So where do the people stand up? Like it just didn't make, it just, it didn't scale correctly. So I made a mistake in the height I said it would be and ended up being a lot taller than what I originally said it was gonna be, but I had to do it, it was my own mistake. I wasn't gonna go back to him and be like, hey, oh dude, you know, can you pay me some more because it needs to be taller. Uh, Kind of went with this, uh, this look, which uh, I've done before, and, and it's done a lot. Um, it's a traditional thing with these buildings, and in all honesty, if I had, if I had the time and the clientele who wanted this to be very detailed, very, 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 very detailed, it would be pretty cool because then you can do a lot of different things with these older buildings, especially in Boston. My reference points are great. Like Boston has a lot of older buildings, and a lot of the designs on these buildings were really ornate. So it's. It's it's a cool thing to kind of look up, uh, you know. As a graffiti writer, I'm always looking down. I'm always looking, you know, at walls in front of me, and and to be able to look up because now I'm interested in in architecture and and, and so forth. It's really cool to see some of the designs I see in buildings. I'm like, damn, they don't make buildings like that no more, man. It's it's too bad. Um, so this is about 22 inches tall, and I actually had measured it with the ruler when I thought I was recording. <laughs> so I, I know this for a fact. 22 inches tall, it is about 15 and a half inches deep, and I think it's almost 16 and a half inches across. So the way this demagnetizes is that this wall, this wall pulls away from this wall and this wall. So these three walls are magnetized. Then they're they're some they're not magnetized to the base. So there's no magnet to the base. It is so big and it has a little bit of weight because of the windows. It wasn't necessary. But what it does is because, the, you know, but you put the magnets, it'll kind of buckle a little bit depending on how you install the magnets. So I put a piece inside of there so that it kind of, it kind of um, catches the wall so they stay straight. The roof is magnetized on the two corners there, but it has some... A foam board so it can lay on so that if you put a little bit of weight it won't fall down let's say he wanted to put a hulk versus thing fighting on the rooftop um it won't it won't fall um so i was you know i was thinking of things like that to make sure that it's secure when uh when a client uh gets it so uh let me see what have i not discussed oh man yeah, I, 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 you know, now that I'm, oh, oh, you see lights go out, shit happens. Now that I'm, now that I'm looking at it, and a lot of times, that's why it's really cool to kind of take a step back and, and when you record these videos, there's certain things that you won't see that you'll catch later on. Um, so, like, for example, one of the things I'm noticing right now is I meant to do this and I didn't do it and I'm going to do it now before I pack it up, but I didn't put any, like, I wanted to put some, like, weeds and shit coming out of and i'll just put a couple of those and i'll put some more debris there um but yeah no it, it's definitely uh something i caught not that i caught because i wanted to do it completely forgot about it but in recording this and looking at it kind of going down a little bit saying hold on just saw that i have put a magazine here and it's not as you know it's not as i don't know it's not as as not dirty, but it's not as messy as a as a building would be where there's some weeds coming out from the you know from the concrete and the, the corner of the building and so I'll do that when uh when we get off uh when I I'm done recording here. Ah y'all so this was it. I'll put some pictures at the end. Uh question comments feel free. One of the things I do want to say before I sign off 
not so much here on YouTube, but this is happening a lot on Instagram, where I'm getting a lot of people who are asking me questions, like re repeat que or questions of dials that I've already done. And a lot of times I'll say, well, go check out my videos because the answers are there. Then they'll say, but on your videos, you say, if you have any questions, just ask. Yes, if you have any new questions, cool. But if you're going to ask me what kind of material you're using, I'm probably not going to answer you because I've discussed the materials that I use constantly. I put it in almost every description here and on Instagram. So if y'all don't feel like doing some research, then I don't know what to tell you. Um, so yeah, it's not that being uh, that I'm. It's not that I'm being an asshole. It's just it kind of gets tiring. People asking kind of. Somebody asked me the other day, like, "Hey, this is a picture of the space they sent me. They're saying it's 33 inches. It looks like it's 30 inches. I don't know. What do you think, bro? I don't know, man. Like those questions, just I, I don't even know how to answer that. <laughs> it's frustrating sometimes. I y'all, but uh, this is it. And I will have uh, some back-to-back -back videos um, because I have two other dials that I, or one, excuse me, one of the dial that I need to make a video for. So I'll probably release them like um, two days apart or something like that. Maybe I'll release them the same day. I don't know. I right, y'all have a great weekend and I'm out. Peace.